I'm Nick Gregorio. Welcome to the Bar in the Stars. Today we're talking porn and BR. We've seen it, we've tried it. So guys, I want to know, are you buying or selling BR porn? Ricky, let's start with you. Uh, I am selling it on a website, uh, rickysadlife.com. It's, <laughs> it's me sitting in a bar. You get the, the full perspective of just being unnoticed by any female that walks by. It's, That's it's awesome. truly a unique that. experience. It's a different format now. Annie, what about you? Buying and selling. Oh, are you, yeah. so you're, it's like a soft buy or a hard sell? <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of both. No, <laughs> um, I, I want to make it and sell it, and then I also want to buy it. Well, okay, that's a good answer. What are you, Chloe? <laughs> uh, I'm buying it because I think it's one of the only reasons VR will sustain itself. It's because of porn. Yeah, they do say that uh, pornography does push technology. VHS? Um, I don't know if I can buy it because I value humanity, and I feel <laughs> like this is truly Pandora's box. Do you really value humanity? No, I lie. <laughs> I'm a lie. No, I have... <laughs> I don't know. I have a daughter. I have like a lot of nieces and nephews, and I feel like human human interaction will slowly start to be a thing of the past if we create this ultimate immersive world. It's not that different than what we have already. It's just prettier. Like that's it. Yeah, but what we have now is like kind of there we've is had, that, we have a there's flashlight. that. We have a fucking vagina in a plastic flashlight. It feels that's great, true. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Like there's, I've used one. It's not that different. Do than you what microwave we it first? No, you wash it out after. <laughs> no, that's like you a banana a, peel, right? You get the banana it. peel and the rubber band yeah. or whatever. No, but I'm saying that now there's like there's barriers and there's points of entry. Like what happens when you just Lots strap of points something of entry. on and you? Mm -hmm. Oh God! I don't oh, know. Okay. Well, you're talking about the full I didn't get immersive the experience. I'm talking about the full immersive experience. I'm you're talking not about just five talking about years down the line. Let's get Black Mirror in this motherfucker. Well, you know they they invented that new real doll that has the warm vagina. So that's another step. I forward. mean, like Betsy's gonna be mad. Yeah. Can't She's you just out. put like a heating pad under? Like, <laughs> they make they make stuff like that though. They have like real dolls that have um, heating pads and like vibrations. You can change the pulse and the way it feels. Cooper, take note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, but I, I think guys. I mean, guys barely try now. If mm -hmm. guys don't have to leave their house, like, isn't it kind of? Oh no, they try. They try. They, they try I mean, to get with a live yeah, person. They, yeah, yeah, they have, they have to try. But there are people that may not have the access to women, or women that may oh, not have access Siberia, to, to men. <laughs> no, maybe. That's what I mean by try. Like people like, in make the military. Presentable. Like people. I mean, there's a lot of people that just don't but have. But that's a special there's, circumstance. There's also a lot of people, a lot of guys that are very like anti, awkward, like yeah, awkward yeah. socially, socially awkward, and like don't mm -hmm. know how to talk to women. So all they do is watch porn already. So if they had VR porn, I feel like that would make them never want to leave they the house. They would never leave the house. Yeah. So wait, are you more worried about like the downfall of humanity, meaning we won't procreate, or are you worried about people No, because there's already population like, control issues, so yeah. I guess for in the short term it'd be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Ready, yeah. ready Player One. Great. So you're thinking Ready Player One. I'm thinking Ready Player One. Yeah. That way only like, the most attractive and, and, uh, and People that can go out and socialize and and like alpha males and alpha females will be the ones that mate because the rest will be home, either fucking a rag, a wet rag, or uh, <laughs> that's or actually like, a good point, Or getting Ricky. like a piston like, penis sad. shoved what's in them. What's like sad. sweat and chlorine in here? Yeah, Nothing. Don't no, touch that yeah. device. Yeah. That's, what's this whole rig over here? <laughs> Ricky, that's sad and fucked up, but that's kind of true. Yeah. Only the mm. best will I procreate. Mean, evolution at this point's kind of slowed down because everyone's got equal opportunities, but I think. If you have like yeah. Chloe evolution is final solution. You heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But spot. like She's, ultimately, uh, yeah, the people who are antisocial and don't want to go got a out, like are not. On every you know what I mean? Like the alpha personalities are going to go out and seek actual connection with other people. It's basically uh, eugenics all over again. This is eugenics. We did it. We're doing it to ourselves. Yeah, it's self-inflicted eugenics. I want to change gears a little bit. No, please don't. Back to the. Back to the adult entertainment industry and virtual reality. Uh, Annie used to be a performer. Mm -hmm. How do you think this will affect the performers? Like, is there anything that is kind of off-putting by having like a 360 camera in the scene? Is it weird or is um, it? See, okay, so I, that, like years ago, I did a thing for Penthouse. Uh, we did the 3D porn. This is before VR became a thing. And that was kind of interesting because they had to, um, the director had to film it with the screen and watch it in 3D so he could see what it looked like and everything. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I lived with a girl who was starting up a VR company for like live stream webcamming. So as opposed to just filming oh, movies wow. in VR, she was trying to do um, live stream camming with girls and she had started up with like these different contraptions that she made she took um, if I remember correctly she took a bunch of GoPros and like wow. taped it around and made oh she made like a legit yeah like, legit thing range. and then she started using um, what was it that she started using she started using 
the camera for the Xbox, I believe, is what she was using. The Connect. The Connect. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, the Connect. She started using the Connect, um, and was like kind of using um, different methods to do it. And um, I never, unfortunately, got a chance to shoot for her because she wanted me to kind of test it out, use me as a test subject, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but it was interesting to watch her work on it in our living room, um, having, you know, the whole room has to be empty and putting it in the middle and then having people just do it on the couch right yeah, there. You can't, just, yeah. you can't just push all your dirty clothes into a corner. No. Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck is all yeah. that? What is going on? Yeah, what, exactly. Why is there a bowl of cereal on the ground? What's that? everything. <laughs> um, why is there a dog, dog shit in the fucking, no. But it's not. <laughs> But as far as like affecting um, the industry, because the industry is already kind of a dying business as far as like piracy and tube sites kind of continuing to kill it. And I feel like um, with VR and um, how it's kind of exploding right now, I feel like it'll be a little bit more difficult for people to pirate that because it's such a newer thing. Yeah, because you, yeah. need, you need a proprietary video platform that yeah. can handle 360 degrees. And I think you also need like a user interface. So now yeah. the point of entry is much, much higher for, I guess, the pirates. Well, I mean, technology will solve that problem, though. In the next yeah. couple of years, it's going to get cheaper. In the and next more 30 accessible. minutes. So yeah. 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 Right yeah. now, it is getting cheaper yeah. and Someone's just going to figure out how to, yeah. But then again, like we, uh, we were talking about the election, which happened this week, whenever this airs. If Prop 60, I think it is. Oh, it did. Yeah. And we the got first, the first uh, as president now, 10 minutes we'll of any VR porn is going to be you looking down and a putting a condom putting on a really condom awkwardly. On, yeah. like, uh, By the way, that's a don't vote. No, uh, it's no already vote, over by no this. On 60 uh, but I also yeah. think that, yeah, the piracy thing, I mean, piracy is always going to exist and it's just yeah. going to be a person downloading a 360 degree video. So it's, it is good to innovate. But on the same hand, it's like porn always has this kind of piracy problem regardless. It's just yeah. a new way to do you, it. Yeah, there's no way to get rid of it. Really Aside no from the live right. streaming, I feel like that's the one barrier where people are like, you, it's hard unless you're like well, the, the one, site like, as a whole. The experience that yeah. I had, we did a sketch in, in 360, mm -hmm. or we did it 180. Um, but I, the, lens is, <laughs> the lens is super wide and distorting, and I know like we're still probably years away from finding a good solution for mm -hmm. that. That's kind of a little bit weird with VR porn, because like the last thing I want is like a weird, distorted sexual experience, well, like a types. funhouse mirror. There's not. There's different types of VR porn. There's like the ones that are actually filmed in 360. Oh, yeah. Know, and there's Chloe. like the ones what? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. Well, we, we, we tested it. Uh, porn, uh, um, we all did it on our show. Um, yeah. No, we I did, mean, yeah. And it was pretty realistic. One, I mean, dude, that shit was live. It was is all live, but there was also fun. there's also CG porn. Yeah programs already that you can like change the bust size and the hair color and the mm -hmm. face and all sorts of different stuff. So well, I think that's when you get into the dangerous territory of having an actual device that is working on your genitals at the same speed that the <laughs> is it working in it. on it? It's like it's, a little Yeah, like it's a, doing a little work. A little but, flourish. Well, okay, little this brings up my next question. Can VR porn help just as many relationships as it hurts? Uh, no. no. I don't think that's no, I don't think accurate at all. That was no. easy. No, but I mean like think about this if it's a long distance relationship. And and there's no can, difference there, really. Right? I mean, at least like because then you're seeing LDR, them and you have a robot phone sex and Skype sex, but like instead, of, I mean, it's the same thing. I think the problem there is the fact that it, yes, if Cooper, the person where's Skype sex, look that up, please. <laughs> if, <laughs> that me. if your long distance relationship partner is the one activating the motion in the device, that's what maybe. I mean. Like, but otherwise, yeah. and like you're looking it, at her face or his face when you talk yeah, about porn in general. Like if it's, that's cool. Yeah, if you are like you know, like it's like a, what, what, what if you're a quadriplegic, man. two quadriplegics that are together. Oh God! <laughs> I mean, come well, on, that also about, like, goes wait, back is... to like you know some people who may not be able to have proper sex or not. Yeah. you know what I mean. It's like it's, a micro penis. Like yeah. Our, <laughs> our current president of the United States is having issues with this. It's not about the size; it's the motion of the ocean. Well, so the the thing with that though is if you're talking about regular porn use, which I, I think it's it's definitely going to be weird for uh, men and women to, if you're in a long distance relationship, have some kind of attempt at physical activity. Yeah. But also it's going to be weird if you're just talking about regular porn where uh, your long distance relationship, you go over to their place eventually and it's like, oh, you just have a laptop. I'm sh you know that they're looking Let at porn. Me, but seeing an entire a rig <laughs> is a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was saying to Cooper earlier when we were going over the notes that once it's like a haptic suit, if yeah. you read uh -huh. oh, Ready yeah. Player One, where Which it's exists. like, you just put it on for any game you play. Yeah. I think a lot more dudes are going to do it. When you Why are you washing your haptic suit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, you gotta, when you buy like the fuck box, everyone's going to be like, dude, come There's on. Gonna be a you've got a fuck box in your house. He's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, uh, I mean. Come over for Thanksgiving. If, you, if you're thinking about the future far off, I mean, the haptic suit could jerk you off. That's what I mean. Yeah. When we get to that point where then it's, it's kind of ubiquitous. It's not fine. But and like you don't, it's not as obvious. No, as that's like, a separate attachment. That's okay. got to be like. Uh, you know, I'll team. add a. For women it is. I think for men it's not. I'll <laughs> add a, a point to it helping relationships. 
when the relationship ages and people get into their 50s and 60s and you know, okay. what like typically 50s not that old okay. Well, Ricky, let's let's not, okay i'm sorry i'm thinking of <laughs> i was going to say 1800s i'll move to hypothetical it. situation but when someone's not in the mood yes okay yeah yeah, but then that's what you go to. That's always the solution when someone's not in the mood what instead if, of forcing Chloe Dykes' final solution, ladies. What if yeah. you want to spice things up in the bedroom as, like, you know, a couple? Like, you know, put on the goggles, there's a girl eating another girl out, and it's, like, POV, and then your boyfriend's eating you out, and you're like, oh, it's like, there's a girl eating me out, but not really, it's my boyfriend. Nick's face is just like a right? cartoon character. <laughs> well, if I got all what you just said, I have no clue what it is. This is all, like, right tiptoeing the line of emotional cheating, I feel like. Yeah, yes, it is. There, it's it like, is. We, you probably, you were talking about this earlier, Westworld, right? Westworld. Like, so yeah. if we go to, that's a, the new hit HBO show, Westworld, not an ad. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's uh, an adult playground where it's Wild West themes, but ultimately it says all we want to do is fucking kill things. Yeah. And yeah. that's what we don't get to do every day of our lives. Do you guys think that's true, Ricky? I'll start with you. Uh, it would be very uh, hard to not want to go to that world and kind of do things you'd never be able to do in real yeah. life. It would be a big draw for a lot of people, I feel like. like I think I'm going to go there and play Woody from Toy Story. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, to the sky. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I think it's just like, Did everybody else have conversations with their significant others no. watching that show? I did, where I was like, where he, uh, Rob was saying, oh, um, like, do you think that that's cheating? I'm like, nah, like. Get your rocks. You're in a fuck. You're in Disneyland. You're like it's a, it's a ride. <laughs> um, I think that's cheating. They're, so, that's they're the too real. He said it's cheating, but I but I don't say. I, I mean, like it's okay, an experience, this. You're and it's a you're, robot. You're standing there with your significant other in that bar. You're both at Westworld, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you're. You looking, couldn't even wink at the robot. <laughs> you couldn't. Feeling. Okay, you're you're looking at your girlfriend <laughs> leave with a huge like cowboy dude. And you know she's gonna get fucked the best she's ever been fucked. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then she's looking at you, <laughs> and she sees some hot. Yeah. Well, it's, no, a it's, world. Man. it's a fantasy world. It's a fantasy world. Yeah. yeah. Like there's like probably a, a dial on it to make yeah. it bigger. But it's like they have fucking machines. Yeah. I mean, it is porn. That's really. Yeah. It's like the biggest, fanciest version of porn. But would you be jealous if you saw if you were there in that world with him and saw him leave with a prostitute? I would kill that motherfucker. <laughs> I would, would scalp you? him. I would scalp him like Ed Harris did. Yeah. For every like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I don't know. I'd probably be like, Hey, can I come along? Like, I mean, there are like. Oh, watch, can I watch? I mean, you guys can go to Amsterdam right now and probably make. That I mean, happen. that's possible. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's not a robot. That's something. Else. I don't yeah. know. Um, I feel like it's such a slippery slope. It's one of the. It well, is. Oh, well, I'm gonna I mean, go online. What do you, what yeah. do you think, Andy? Yeah. What do you think about the whole Westworld situation? Where I'm, it's, I'm only one episode in, but I feel like yeah, it's kind of like a mix, like you were saying, of porn and like I like to look at it as like playing a video game live. You know what I mean? Like. But does that raise the stakes? Like, like VR is a long ways away from feeling one to one real life. Yeah. A, like a Westworld style simulation land. But the robot's mm -hmm. not gonna fall in love with you because it's a robot. There's no emotions. Oh, I don't know. I know Maybe we're that's like, like the storyline story of the show. Yeah. Where robots uh, like, okay, sentient. yes, I get that. Chloe, right. you know about well, the Well, you know what? Like, if it has a <laughs> consciousness, that's a bit different thing. But okay. It, what they're supposed to be is not cheating. Okay. I don't know. For me, it, it just seems. It's like when people ask, are human beings, like, at their nature, at their core, good or bad? I think when you have those types of situations where it's either like an adult amusement park or virtual reality, you lean towards humans are just animals and mm -hmm. they just want to satisfy these, like, lust and violence-filled mm -hmm. things. And I think it, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, you would also imagine, I, I haven't seen enough of it. I've, I've watched three or four episodes. I, I'm just talking in the hypothetical, like that. In, yeah. in that hypothetical yeah. sense, a society where that is evolved enough to exist, I would imagine that the real world that people live in is it completely sterile and weird and yeah. you're- Weird almost. Yeah. It's, you're, it's a very, yeah. like, yeah, exactly. And that is almost a, a, a part that is a lot that allows you to let loose and yeah. fulfill yeah. those primal urges Go that crazy, today yeah. aren't necessarily suppressed as much. I mean, obviously we're not out fucking and killing everything, but we do have a bit of leeway with stuff like porn and I mean, if you like First shooting guns, go to go to, yeah, video yeah, games, yeah. go to a shooting range, like whatever. So I, I feel like this kind of thing could only exist in a society that is as squeaky clean as the future might be. If, yeah. Like less crime. Well, what's weird yeah. is VR and technology seems to be evolving faster than our society is in yeah. some ways. Like, I don't know if our society is capable of finding that middle ground yet. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, our technology is evolving to a point where I don't know if we're going to be able to handle it. You well, know at least what I mean? Most... And still function as but a proper society. The people that will use that wrong are... will be stuck in their rooms, though. I think yeah. that, like, yeah. maybe our social media personas seem much more aggressive, but I think in real life we're all very neutered. And we're all very sheltered in our, like, we go to our job and we come home and, like, 
we create these false personas that we're bigger or more violent or tougher or we would do something, but really we just sit there, we watch Monday Night Football, we watch a CBS multi-camera comedy, yeah. we jerk off the porn and go to bed and then we do it again the next day. Mm -hmm. So it's like, are we already at that level of suppression? Have we always been at that level, level of suppression, suppression. Yeah. you know? <clears throat> um, I don't, the, yeah. It's weird, I'm sorry, we're getting real heady on this. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's already clicked off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like what you could, what what the line is of when it becomes too much. I think the fucking machines and being physically with something, with your VR headset and everything yeah. like that. Like the the you see the machines online that like have the flashlight that yeah, yeah. there's ones that are like oh, there are ones that are attachments is that, that the can the game of thrones. Control. <laughs> no, <they're> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. I don't know, I caught um, in the loop. When you're spending the money that you would spend on a car on a fuck machine, that's when it's too far. Yeah. The I, car is a fuck machine. Have you ever seen how many ladies who look turn their heads and drive by in a Corvette? <laughs> Some ladies in my fuck machine. Or is that just machine. you fucking your car? <laughs> yeah, no, I have sex with my car all the time. So I, I guess like I guess a final final thought on this. Is it is it something that is bad or good? Let's go down the line. Um Or do you not think in absolutes? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Th I, I think with anything, it's it's it depends on the person that's using it. I mean, it, I look yeah. at VR in the same way that I look at the internet. The internet is one of the greatest gifts that humanity has ever gotten as far as technology, mm -hmm. and you can see how it is both the best and worst thing depending on the Who's user. Who's using it? Yeah, yeah. I have think, to agree Andy? with him. That's exactly what I was going to say. It really depends on the person because there there's people out there that could you know can be addic get addicted to it. I guess in a yeah. sense to where they're like, oh, I never have to leave the house, and there are other people that can you know use it every once in a while and, and be content with that. Mm -hmm. And then just go back to their daily whatever. And then there are people that just, that's all they do. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of people walking around Like video day. games. You know, you you know they know. fucked a machine <laughs> last night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to have a smell to them, like oil, yeah. like the cotton oil. Oh, yeah. Like, the oh. grease. Oh. Yeah. Robert, really? Oh. Yeah. Robert? I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> was, I went for a name. Yeah. That's fine. Um, I don't know if it's good or bad. I think it's just inevitable. It's just something, it's just where we were going. Mm -hmm. well, what's, your, what's your opinion on it? I don't, I mean, honestly, again, it's, it's, it's like what Ricky was saying, but it's either way, it's something we just kind of have to accept is happening. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it stays prohibitively expensive enough for long enough to Yeah. That. Yeah, to where it's I like. Know, but if you, th if you think about smartphone evolution, I mean, no one yeah, had a phone had and everyone happen, had a computer. And there computer. were a bunch of different companies, tons of It didn't of have to happen. I mean, everyone, that, everyone it's has been like, a computer in like, what, seven years? That's a really fast evolution. Yeah. And technology is only fast. going faster. I mean, mm -hmm. like, look, <laughs> TVs are a perfect example. Like. Three years ago or four years ago, it was like, oh, I have to get a 1080p now. And now it's like 4K is like $500. It's yeah, like, how, how long until VR is dirt cheap? Everyone has a smartphone in their house. Yeah. I mean, VR is not a necessity anymore. Like, society's values, But it's when you grow up in a world where it is, it quickly becomes that. Like, for my daughter, when she's a teenager, VR is going to be just part of life. Just no VR yeah. until she's 18 years old. Uh, I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> and it'll be augmented reality, too. Yeah. That, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. Because then you're, you look down at your flashlight and it's just a person. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. I hate to do this to you, but it's last call, mm -hmm. final round. What was the first piece of pornographic content you came across <laughs> as a kid? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, porn in the Woods. Porn in the woods. Yeah, finding like, porn in the woods. Oh, fucking on the, the, the one where they fuck over the bear. Porn in the woods. Out no, there. no, like, that, some that, code you know, you literally started bleeding, and I went up. <laughs> we would go out in the woods, as, in the woods as kids, and there would be porn magazines, probably left by homeless people. I didn't grow up oh, in the wait, woods. I haven't yeah. heard about that. So this that. is like yeah. porn in the alley. Like there would always be some torn up like nudie magazine. Yeah. You'd be like, what is? This? Not all of us grew up in the mean streets of Queens. I don't know. This is the first time I've heard this. Maybe I've heard this from Ricky. Porn in the woods. Porn in the woods. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Me, uh, I had one of those old TV sets where you had to turn the knob and only mm -hmm. had like 10 channels. Mm -hmm. Scrambled porn. That was the first time oh, I wow. ever. Yeah. Dude, scrambled yeah. porn was lit as fuck. Oh, was it was. Because like, I knew every time the clock turned 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. that that shit would change. Spice. Yeah. Spice channel. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> My, mine were the pop up. I was like playing around on Neopets and like pop up ads would come up. On like, Neopets? Oh, I don't know You're what too would happen. Young. No, you but, don't have any good so ones, there was, Chloe. Okay, well, I'll tell you this. I found so it on a porn I, site. I cool bought. BigAssTits.com. <laughs> 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 I bought Edward Penis Hands when I was 16 years uh. old. I saved up money and I bought Edward Penis Hands and it's great. Oh, I, 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 I asked my mom for it and she was like. I, the first I, time I logged online, 
I typed in Playboy and nothing happened. That's how old I am. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I have a great story about the first time I bought porn that's better than finding it in the woods. Whatever. We went to the, uh, the the porn store and I like I was underage, not underage, makes it sound worse, gave money to <laughs> friends that were 18 or 18 older. 18 to party, 21 to and drink? Was like, and they were like, yeah, get me one too if you guys are going to go in. So we were driving home from that porn store and we all had porn. And uh, we get pulled over for like <gasps> swerving or whatever oh, he was God. doing. And uh, <laughs> the, the, the cop sees us like hide, frantically hiding something and he thinks it's drugs. So he's like, I saw you guys hiding something under there. What was it? Bring it all out. And we're like begging him not to like arrest us or whatever for some <laughs> oh reason. God. We pull out just like a pile of porn that tall. And the cop was just like, just get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, this is the most resonant yeah. story. It wasn't like the first time, but. My friend Chucky Wanger was like, yo, you want to see something? I of course it was God. Chucky Wanger. He was like, you want to see something? I'm like, sure. And he pops open like a ceiling tile in his bedroom and he pulls oh out God. a porno magazine and he flips it open and I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. He was like, that's a woman's vagina. And I was like, the ceiling tile. And then you guys like played around with each other? Or? No. And then I went home. <laughs> oh, yeah, you went and then home. I went home and I just tried to like in my Star Wars superhero Batman fan fanaticism figure out what I just saw. I was like, I don't know where that fits in. Where does this Whatever. point to Lois Lane? Where does this <laughs> attach? Like, where is, where did your parents have porn that they kept somewhere? No. No? That wasn't it. We were How about you guys? Italian you guys Catholic. Oh, your parents, my parents dad porn? had a shit ton of uh, Playboy magazines, but that was mm -hmm. the extent of But Playboy was My Playboy. uncle had a lot of porn lying around, though, like videotapes and stuff that I would like, ah, oh, okay. Always <laughs> would, uh, there's always an uncle that does. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any kid? kids. I, want, I have the porn. Uh, yeah. I remember Joe DeBarber had Playboys. And one day I snuck Who is that? Is that another old man reference? That, that's a Joe. Joe owned a barber shop. He still cuts hair down there. Uh, and I he only had, know Joe. He had the plumber. one section. All right. <laughs> he had one section that was Playboys. And I remember the one time I just snuck and I was looking at them. And my fucking mom was furious. She uh -huh. was like, you looked at porn the whole time. I was like, I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> and so should you. <laughs> unless it's, yep, on unless porn. it's for porn. Yeah. No. <laughs> good. All right, that's all the time we have today. Let's recap what we've learned. Uh -oh. Ricky Hayberg will be busy trying to earn enough money to visit Westworld by selling his self cleaning hat pick suits on his new website, rickysadlife.com. Feel free to visit and make a contribution. Annie Cruz described using the Xbox Kinect to make VR porn. Pretty sure she should be endorsed by Microsoft since that's the only good use anyone has ever found for that stupid thing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> John, move your arms. Chloe Dykstra says VR porn is just something inevitable that we have to accept. It's a valuable lesson, just like when you were a kid and you just had to accept that scramble porn was never going to come into focus no matter how hard you stared. It did one, one time for me, Cooper. It flicked on and I was like, ah, and then flicked off. Thanks. As for me, Nick Gregorio, the only reason I think VR porn is a dangerous <laughs> Pandora's box is because I clearly am not mature enough to handle it. <laughs> In case you didn't catch it earlier, this is my, my confessing to being nothing but a Monday night football watching sexually repressed 30 something male. <laughs> I see you guys at Buffalo Wild Wings. One love. Again, Phil Arrigo is not here, but I'm sure he would have said something inappropriate, made fun of me, Ricky and Chloe. I was here for, for that, though. Yeah. So Sorry, guys. That's all the time we have for today. For more info on VR porn, please check out the 1993 <laughs> documentary, Demolition Man. Bottoms up, asses out, the space bar is closed. Oh, we go get some Taco Bell. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Woo! Go, go. I know we can cheers now. Every restaurant's Taco Bell. Eh. Mm. Mm.